Welcome to the RSP Boiler Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. Today I'm watching a little bit of Curtis Samuels, the running back who does a lot of work as a slot receiver, outside receiver, kind of do-it-all Leatherman tool for the Ohio State Buckeyes. Number four has been fun to watch at um, in this game against Rutgers and there's a lot of things that I could show you but something that would stand out to me if I were going to show a team what this guy could become for you it would be this play and it's not even a play where he gets the ball but it's something that I admire about his game that I think is going to get better it's not perfect that I'm what I'm going to show you but it's an example of some route running and how it can develop as he grows into a professional player and does the work that he needs to do. And we're gonna look this at this at half speed. You're gonna see Samuel is the slot left receiver. He's gonna have this outside linebacker dropping, this nickel back or dime back, depending on how you wanna look at it here, is gonna be playing over top. And watch this route. We're going to watch it first at half speed, then we'll watch it all the way through. But see, first you've got the angle inside, and then watch him straighten that stem, and then a little bit of a kind of drumming and drop of the hips a little bit, and then a sharp cut inside and a little bit of a swipe of the arm to get outside of this player. Now he's well covered and it's not it's not targeted. But I like the elements of what he's doing here. You can see some of the hip bend that he could do use. And for a back who can, you know, make lateral cuts, he can drop the hips. And I think he can do it even better over time. I like that he tends to run flat breaks when I've seen him so far in this game. And this is something that I think he's only going to get better at. Let's watch it full speed one time. I mean, if needed, he could have been targeted on that play. And I think a pro quarterback would have done it because he would have felt confident in, in his accuracy if there wasn't something better right there that was a tremendously obvious from the standpoint of being wide open. Here's another play of Samuels that gives you a hint of some of that upside as a receiver. You're going to watch him execute a little bit of a rip move on this nickel back or linebacker on the outside. Now he does it a little bit late, but you can see him kind of swat past there. The fact that he's good at using his hands, you see it with a stiff arm a lot, you see him reduce the shoulder a little bit, and then use that arm to rip upward something he's going to get better at as a receiver as he works at his game and that's a real positive now he's not targeted on this route but let's watch a play where he is targeted which is inside trips right here he's going to run a sail route to the right flat this is not a hint of what he can do as a receiver um, unless you need captain obvious to tell you how good this play is First of all, you know, good job getting his hands up. He could probably do a little bit better here. But look at him turning into this hit by the safety. And he still holds on to the ball. That's a pretty hard hit. Gotta like this kind of toughness from a player. The willingness to go up and get it, too. He could catch this with a little more overhand technique, which I've seen him do. He kind of traps that ball, but he's still able to hold on to it. You know, wide receivers get dinged a little bit for hand position on these types of plays, and they often drop passes like this when they do so. There are a lot of receivers that failed out of the NFL because of the fact that they try to trap passes where contact is imminent and they're going to take that kind of hit. But there are some notable exceptions. Golden Tate is a very good example of a tough-as-nails receiver who doesn't have great 
technique with his hands, but comes down with these types of plays all the time. The fact that Samuel, sh Samuel shows this at this level, that's a positive right there. One more time. Mm. Tough dude, man. like that about him. Now this is a play that Samuel has to improve upon because we talked about catch form with that sail route that he ran and took the hard hit. This is a shallow route. It's a little shake move that he almost that he stumbles through but recovers quickly. And watch him reach for this ball. It's a little cloudy. But watch how he kind of comes up with an underhand grip, it almost looks like here. Looks like he's almost catching it underhanded here. I don't know how he even comes down with it. I think it's kind of an amalgamation of two hand positions that aren't fully clear here, and he's able to bring it back down. I might be wrong about this one because it's hard to see. He might have gotten his hands in the appropriate position. But because of past targets that I've seen where on high targets he doesn't fully get his arms up correctly, it seems like this is palms up here when it should be palms out towards the ball and he somehow corrects his maybe late in the play but he's gonna have to work on a jugs machine I think and really practices Quincy Anunwa did this and he got a lot better and Quincy Anunwa had way worse problems with hand position when he was at Nebraska and he became an effective receiver for the Jets this year and I think that Samuel, a little work on that jugs machine and, and practicing so that it becomes second nature of when to adjust his hands. And you're going to have quite a reliable receiver here. And it's these little layers of a player's game that may not be fully developed. But if he has the right mindset, maturity, attitude, you like what he is right now as a person. And you know that he's going to work at his craft or you have a confidence level that he will. These are the types of things that you can project forward and say, how is Curtis Samuel going to be a weapon for our team and can he fit for our team based on that? And think about the New Orleans Saints or the Indianapolis Colts or the New England Patriots. Any team that likes to use their running backs in multiple ways, San Diego with Phillip Rivers and Danny Woodhead, where you can use them in the backfield, you can use him also split out as a receiver. Philadelphia likes to do it a lot. I think this guy has that chance to develop in that capacity. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP Boiler Rooms, you can check out my YouTube channel, the RSP Film Room. And give it a subscription. You know, subscribe to it. There's lots of great videos out there from years past and currently for this draft class. Hit that little bell, as my buddy Vach Lombardi has said about some of his great videos, and I'll recommend his as well. He does some great work out there, so if you haven't heard of him, check him out. And check out my uh, blog page, www.mountwaldmanrsp.com.